so far we have a basic table over here and um, it's looking all right we have some really basic behavior just a little hover over effect and then every time we click on one of the song titles a pop-up happens through a JavaScript now the essence of a table is that it has some tabular data and that it's basically useful and the one thing I would really like to add for the user here is the ability to sort this table now if we look back at my example if you click on the headers they sort that's a pretty cool effect um, or behavior rather and it's one that's pretty sophisticated and it takes a lot of serious coding to do namely with JavaScript but why bother doing the coding when we could just have you know when we could just use something that someone else has already created for us and that's what we're going to do right now um, this function is happening via a table sorter uh, JavaScript that's actually a plugin for a, a JavaScript library known as jQuery now if you go into Google and you look up jQuery you're gonna find that there's a jQuery it's the write less do more JavaScript library and then also if you search again and you put in jQuery table sorter the table sorter is all one word probably the first hit you're gonna get is this table sorter dot com and it's a jQuery plugin basically jQuery is the main library of JavaScript functions. You kind of think of it as uh, how Dreamweaver has its built-in behaviors over here. It has a ton of different behaviors you could choose from, like its behavior library. Well, jQuery is just that, a bunch of um, a bunch of behaviors that are already been coded by someone else and it, it's really great and, and it's actually all the rage nowadays because it's so robust but we're going to use just this table sorter specifically so in order to use the table sorter we need two elements we need jQuery and the table sorter plugin and actually if we go to table sorter dot com you see table sorter 2.0 and we read through the instructions part of the requirement let's see uh, it's gonna tell you here what's required somewhere down the way and it's gonna tell you yeah so it, what's required is the jQuery library and the table sorter um, JavaScript so what we're gonna first do is find the, jo the jQuery library and plug it into our web page. So let's do that first. And you can do that, just search jQuery in Google or go to jQuery.com. That's J Q U E R Y. Once you click on that, you should see a download button. And when you click, there it takes you right to the JavaScript. And if you look at your URL, it should tell you that the uh, the end of it is a dot js. This is it. This is the the jQuery um, code you know this is pretty pretty complicated stuff over here but I you don't really need to know I mean I, I honestly don't know the details of this I just kinda know what I need to use to plug stuff in actually just through using directions on web pages like table sorter but we'll get to that in a second let's once you get to this page you can just go files save page as and then you just save it as the .js file. I'm going to save it onto my desktop. But what's important is I'm going to bring it into the folder where my index file is, my my index.html. Basically, the same folder that has the current design I'm working on. And now I'm going to link my page to that JavaScript. And if you've externalized your JavaScript, like that pop-up window, you should see the syntax for it similar to this. It just says script and then equals and the source, which is telling you where it is. So that's the URL for it. And then after that is a type, it's a JavaScript. Well, we're going to do that exact same thing. And let's do it right here, except what we're going to do is we need to put the source in as that jQuery library. So here's the jQuery. I'll just take it and copy the name and pop it in here. 
So now make sure you got the syntax right on this and that you have the right name of the file. Here's the file we just downloaded offline, jQuery-1.4.1-min-js. And you need to make sure that the type is set up as Java. So far, so good. Now, we, now that's it. We've actually included the jQuery library of functions into our document. We're not using anything yet, but that's what we need to do. The next thing we're going to do is now uh, do the same. We need to basically attach the table sorter plugin into our document. Now, let's go to the table sorter plugin and here we go now here's the ta jquery table sorter dot min dot js under the required text over here this is the file that we're going to be downloading right there and there it is so this is more more of the same you know some some complicated function that somebody already created for us and we're just going to do page save as and we just keep it saved as that jquery.tablesorter.min.js I save it to my desktop I want to make sure I put it in the same folder as my um, as the rest of my uh, site documents here we go and I'm going to include that the same way I did here I'm going to include it right below Let me refresh this. Here we go. Table sorter. So far, we've loaded everything up and don't bother clicking at this point because we didn't actually do anything with it. All we did at this point was, was uh, basically attach the jQuery library and the table sorter plugin into our um, into our page so they're ready to go but they haven't been told what to do yet that's going to be the next step